that my current passport was gotten from the southeast and due to the zoning i have to go to lagos to go and get the police clearance i said no you can't be, it can't be, it can't be true you have to be kidding you have to be joking right i was almost tearing off i couldn't believe what was happening since thursday thursday friday monday you could want to keep me in abuja again no it won't work i can't stay in abuja one more day Hello viewers, welcome back to Guinica Talks. My name is Guinica. I'm currently at the India Embassy here at Abuja, Nigeria. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing how to get the Indian Police Clearance Certificate in case you are a Nigerian that have lived in India for more than six months. I will be needing a Police Clearance Certificate to go to another country. If this is the kind of content you really want to watch, please kindly continue watching this video and perhaps you know somebody that will also be looking for this valuable information please share my video so that this video can get a wider reach a wider audience i appreciate your support to all my returning subscribers thank you for consistently following my channel there are two indian embassies in nigeria we have in abuja and in lagos when i was applying for my india visa in 2019 i first went to lagos i got my international passport from the lauren Quara state i got to know that in the india embassy passports have been zoned so depending on your geopolitical zone because my passport was gotten from the non central zone lagos cannot attend to me except on very special or rare occasion to issue me a visa so i was asked to come to abuja embassy so the same thing too since i came to the abuja embassy then to apply for the visa i just thought let me come to the abuja embassy as well to request for this police clearance certificate i was asked that on what ground did i visit india i said as a research student so i was asked to provide some documents which i wrote down here first i provided my tourist letter of award secondly i provided my passport where the visa was issued on my current passport because the passport i got that visa on was expired thirdly i provided evidence of exit permit or what they refer to as all visa extension and evidence to show that i stayed within the validity of time my visa was provided for and i left as at when due i was issued an exit permit fro permit so i also provided copies of passport photograph two copies there was no criteria for the passport photograph i had two copies of my passport on a red background I was also told to get evidence of where I stayed in India. Thankfully, all these documents, I did not throw them away. Remember, I got back from India since 2020, and this is 2023. So, please, any country you are visiting, regardless of whether India or whatever, the passport, the visa, the document, any valid document you know you were issued, kindly do not throw them away. You never can tell when you will be asked to produce all this. I brought all these documents down on Thursday last week. The payment, I have to pay 25 us dollars and 25 us dollar as at that thursday was 20,790 naira. i made the payments that was scheduled to enter for the interview on getting there the person that attended to me now requested for evidence from the country that i am visiting to show that i need india police clearance certificate before he can attend to me I was downcast because if you have been to the Indian embassy here in Abuja, you will know that it is not an easy task. These people have a way of delaying you. I was so angry because I came to you people to request what are the documents that I need. These were the things you listed. You didn't mention this and now you're asking me to go out, print that document and come back again. Now the thing is, I almost scheduled my visa appointment that following Friday, but thankfully I just said let me wait and know what the outcome will be at the Indian embassy so i scheduled it for tuesday be sure that by then i would have gotten my india police clearance certificate so it's very important that if you will be requesting for the india police clearance certificate please get evidence of the page where the country you're visiting is asking you to produce this you also attach this document the next thing was the same guy that was attending to me now told me to write a letter to the consular i was like which kind of will be this expected sir please i am writing to request that you grant me india police clearance certificate i applied for india visa in this year and i was given and i visited india and i spent one year and as, during my visit in india i stayed at so and so place and i did not do any other thing in india probably commit crime or found irresponsible so please kindly grant me the police clearance certificate quickly i wrote it now with my hand 
after writing it, I submitted everything. I was told to go and sit down and wait. When it's my turn, I will go in to see the consular and be interviewed. You won't believe that I sat down from 11 a.m. up till around 3 p.m. before it was my turn that day. When I went by that three to for my interview with the consular, he didn't even ask me anything. He said, just go and give them your document outside, which I did. I went to give them the document at the necessary desk and I was told to go. I'll be given a call the following Friday to come and pick up my police clearance certificates. So Friday, I didn't get their call. And today is Monday. I'm going inside now. Hello viewers. Welcome back. The time is exactly 20 minutes after 5. 5 p.m. And I'm just coming out from the India Embassy. But trust me, by the special grace of God, I did not live there today without getting the PCC I came to request for. India Embassy here in Nigeria, it will humble you. Remember I mentioned something about geopolitical zoning with India Embassy. What I meant is this. If your passport, your current passport, it was gotten from the southwest, southeast or south-south, you just have to go to Lagos. They will only treat your India visa in Lagos. Same goes for the police clearance certificate, which I did not know. And they have a bad habit of telling you to get a document one by one. You will come today. I came on Thursday. They told me the requirements I provided, I submitted, and I did everything. They said I should wait for their call on Friday. They never gave me a call. When I got there as early as 10 a.m. today, apparently the consular did not even interview me. I thought he interviewed me on Thursday because I was asked to enter his office, which I did. But he told me, go back and meet those people. The first set of workers at the embassy that I met that directed me to his office after they checked the documents I came with. Consular just said, go and meet them back. And those ones told me, okay, we are done. We'll call you on Friday. I didn't get their call. And I came today despite not getting their call. Only for them to tell me I have to receive for the interview that the consular has not minuted anything on my document. So I asked, why didn't you call me? They said they expected me to come. Thankfully, I was the first person the consular interviewed because I didn't want to take any chance. Then after he minuted on my document to be treated, they took it to the next person that should now go ahead and print the police certificate to give to me. From 10 after 10 up until 3, I kept on pressuring them. I even created the impression that I had interviewed today. I don't want to miss at the embassy. I was going with these police players. These people did not answer me. They were so nonchalant. When they were eventually come out by 4 p.m., you know what I was told? That my current passport was gotten from the southeast and due to the zoning, I have to go to Lagos to go and get the police clearance. I said, no, you can't be, it, can't be, it can't be true. You have to be kidding. You have to be joking, right? I got my visa on the passport, for which I am requesting for a PCC at the moment. I got it here in Abuja because the passport was gotten from Ilorin, the North Central. And you are with the passport. So why will you be asking me to go and get PCC for a visa that I got here in Lagos? They said, I said I can provide a proof of residence in the law like an utility bill, NIN. I already changed my name on NIN to my husband's name. But thank God for my cam scanner because normally I snap all my documents on cam scanner and I save them there. All I did was I go into my cam scanner, I got my old NIN in my father's name and my residential address in the law because if at all they want to consider this application here, I have to prove an evidence that I have a tie with the law So I had to get utility bill thank god for my brother i called my brother immediately he sent me our utility bill in the lorry went to give them hmm. then that was how they now eventually gave me the police clearance so that i requested for so please in case you are going to the indian embassy you should have lots of patience the point i became so emotional i was almost tearing off i couldn't believe what was happening since thursday thursday friday monday you people want to keep me in abuja again no it won't work i can't stay in abuja one more day again so thank you so much in case you are not yet subscribed please consider subscribing to my youtube channel kindly like my video share my videos and i'll see you in my next video